Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you a brand new deck. Well, not too, too new, it's a, mostly a Blue Eyes revisit, and I'm not saying this is like the brand new best way to play Blue Eyes, but it's revolving around this new monster. It's a synchro monster, technically. It's Phantasmal Lord Ultimi Bishbalkin. So, a uh, pretty complicated monster, it's level 12, but you don't really want to worry about its level. Cannot be synchro summoned. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by sending two level 8 or higher monsters you control with the same level to the graveyard. One tuner, one non-tuner. So already such a hard uh, requirement to meet, guys. It's like crazy, crazy. But cannot be destroyed by card effects. This card gains a thousand attack for each monster on the field. Once per turn during either player's main phase, you can special summon the same number of uh, tokens with 0-0 zero, zero across the board to each player side of the field so that's mostly what we're revolving around this boy just spamming the field with tokens not only locking up your opponent's monster zone but also making it where they have vulnerable monsters to get taken advantage of with fairy meteor crush so our boys effect will usually always have him at 4k put a fairy meteor crush on him he swings into one of his own tokens that is an otk now i switched it from, uh, I was using Big Bang Shot, but that just gives this boy a weakness he doesn't need to have. And this, you can also set on an opponent's monster, and then set a little tuner, and let him swing in and damage themselves. Very Meteor Crush, when you do put it on an enemy's monster, it will make them take their own damage, so it's pretty useful. Better than Big Bang Shot, I would say, because you don't really need the 400 attack from Big Bang Shot. And then outside of that, guys, you just toss a bunch of tuners into a Blue Eyes deck. So just three Blue Eyes, three of each of our boys, three Cosmo Brain, and then a bunch of tuners. So the tuner play is with level dupe. You get a tuner on the field, you get a level 8 body on the field, and you level dupe that tuner to level 8. It's actually way easier than you think, and then it sounds. You'll see in the replays how easy it is. And other than that, you're just a normal Blue Eyes deck. Now... In a lot of these duels, the best play would probably be just normal blue eyes plays, but I'm really going out of my way to use this new boss monster and to show you that kind of stuff. So I'm not saying it's optimal, I'm not saying it's best. Even the plays where I'm focusing the synchro monster might not even be the best. So just trying out this new boss. It was a monster I was interested in and wanted to try. Here we go, it's pretty interesting. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's Joey Wheeler. Going second. You usually want to go first. Our opponent has no extra deck. Very interesting. Using Field of Warriors. So we got all we need for our boy in our hands. And we're going to go straight for him. So we normal summon White Storm Ancients. We special summon our Cosmo Brain. We're going to level dupe. Then bring out a Blue Eyes. That's our Phantasmal Lord. We're going to use his effect and pass our turn. Because you cannot attack the turn you activate his effect. Our opponent can do nothing but set. We're going to normal summon a Spirit of White to banish his back row. He triggers the Lancia, so we can't banish his field. We pass the turn once again. We are just waiting for a Fairy Meteor Crush. Our opponent's using some weird warrior deck. He uses Battle Card King. He's probably using that new trap that makes it so you need uh, monsters in your deck to activate. We keep our boy up to 6k. He keeps swinging at tokens, but that's no problem. Finally get our Pierce damage. I was using Big Bang Shot. I eventually switch it for Fairy Meteor Crush. Fairy Meteor Crush is just overall better in this kind of deck. You really don't need the attack from Big Bang Shot. So it's just Risk, but uh, great duel, guys. Okay, here we are facing a Tristan. Going first. He's totally on the Tristan theme. So we have our ways to our boy. We just normal summon the Stone of Ancient, special summon the Cosmo Brain, do our level dupe, get rid of the Cosmo Brain. So, you know, is this the better turn than just playing some blue eyes in a Cosmo Brain? I'm not sure, but we're blocking two of our opponent's monster phase. All he can do is set one. We're going to normal summon another Spirit of White, hit a Cosmic Cyclone, which would have stopped our Fairy Meteor Crush. But we Fairy Meteor Crush into a token, and it's already over, guys. Great stuff. Okay, here's an Ashizu. Going first. This deck wants to go first because we are focusing on the stall element of our Phantasmal Lord. Now, Cosmo Brain is another easy way to get into our Phantasmal Lord. Here we're going to start with the White Stone of Ancients because we don't have a level 8 monster, so we don't have any way to level dupe or bring anything out. 
where, or yeah, so we're using our Stone of Ancients to bring out our Spirit of White to banish a back row. It's actually a bluff. Now we bring out our Protector. We're going to Synchro Summon into a Vermilion Dragon Mech. That triggers our White Stone of Legend. That gives us a Blue Ice in our deck finally. Now we use our Dragon Mech to destroy that boy. We bring out our Cosmo Brain. Cosmo Brain was going to return himself. After we use the Stone of Ancient from the graveyard, get a Blue Eyes back to our hand. Then Cosmo Brain was going to tribute himself to bring out another Blue Eyes. We would go level dupe that Protector of Blue on the field. We are going to bring out our Phantasmal Lord regardless. We are going to hit him hard, guys. Sheer knew he still needed another turn of setup, but we hit him first. Great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting an old school Seto Kaiba. Going second. Our opponent's using peak performance. Mostly means he's probably a... Uh, black wings and did not win the coin flip so here we have a bunch of tuners and a level 8 in our hand that's all we need to get to our monster so our opponent's most likely going to fill up his board though which means we won't get out too many tokens but we're always going to be over his monsters so it should be no problem now remember our phantasmal lord dude is also immune to destruction so you'll be okay even from a Raikiri, all that stuff. We just gotta focus on staying over his big boy, and then it's no problem, as you can see here. So there's the Raikiri, we're not afraid of him. Here comes the big boy, he can be a problem, Chidori, but we get over him no problem. He's getting a Bora back to his field, all that great stuff. Now it's finally our turn. Just blue eyes and tuners, guys. So we get Protector out, Protector's going to bring out White Stone of Legend. We throw away Stone of Legend to bring out a Blue Eyes after we level duped our Protector. So now Protector was 8, Blue Eyes was 8. That's a 4.2k Phantasmal Lord Ultimate. Ultim. What is it? Ultimate Bish Balkin. So that's a really weird name. But anyway, we swing at the Raikiri. We didn't really need to kill the Raikiri. We're already over his boy. The only way to increase his boy's attack would be to bring out more monsters, which is also going to increase our attack. So there's no way he had anything over us. We are just waiting for a Fairy Meteor Crush. So he commits Senpuku into us. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. Going first. Now we're going to focus on the stall element. So going first is actually pretty good. We have a level 8 monster in our hand with a Cosmo Brain and with Protector Blue. So we had two different ways to get to it. We got to level dupe our Protector of Blue. Protector of Blue is going to send our Stone of Ancients to bring out a Blue Eyes. That is our boy. Stone of Ancients is going to send that Blue Eyes back to our hand. Just to have a live Cosmo Brain. We're going to wait to our opponent's turn. See what he's doing. He is Elemental Sabers. So we activate Phantasmal's Lord. He had to set three back row and immediately scoop. So I saved this replay because that's what it's like. Once they realize they're not going to have any monster zones to work with, he obviously didn't have a live Molehue effect. There's not really much they can do with their monster zones really mixed up like that. So they usually scoop, guys. Once people see your tokens, if they don't have an immediate out, they're generally going to scoop, especially in the King of Games bracket. Can't get your good replays off. But like I said, this isn't like the best way to run Blue Eyes or anything. This is just a way to get Phantasmal Lord Ultimal Bail... What is it? Bish Bailkin? That's such a ridiculous name. For such a crazy monster, who's pretty hard to get out, but this deck actually makes it pretty easy. You have a few ways to get him out. You really need something like Fairy Meteor Crush to make him a definite win con though. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.